Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is going to be a review of PWG's DDT4 uh, Tag Team Title Tournament. And another excellent show from PWG. This is one of the biggest tournaments of the year, right next to King of Trios in Battle Los Angeles. So uh, definitely try to get your hands on it. Uh, you know, is, is this as good as last year's PWG's uh, DDT4 tournament? Uh, no, nah, nowhere really near as close. Uh, last year's was just insane. You know, it's one of those shows that's never going to really be duplicated, which is so good. It was almost flawless. I thought it was great. So, got to get your hands on 2009's uh, DDT if you haven't got a chance yet. But, uh, yeah, th this show was good. Uh, I thought it was pretty much great. Uh, first match we had, what do we have? The Young Bucks. The Young Bucks actually took on uh, Jerome LTP Robinson and uh, Johnny Goodtime. Excellent, excellent match. The crowd really bought into the fact that, you know, LTP and, and Goodtime had a chance to win this match. They play great underdogs. This featured great action, uh, great heel work from the Young Bucks. Uh, Young Bucks definitely were pretty much hated throughout this whole show. Uh, but, you know, they can't knock them. They performed beautifully. They, they wrestled three matches that were awesome here. So uh, just an excellent, excellent opener. I would say this is probably the second best opener of the year right next to Kevin Cena and El Generico. I thought it was that good. Uh, you know, there's nothing off the top of my head that I think could actually contend with this for second place. So... Uh, that's just what I think. So this this is an excellent, excellent match. Uh, excellent way to start off the show. Great stuff. Uh, next up, we actually had uh, El Generico and Paul London. They took on Chuck Taylor and Scott Loss. Scott Loss is actually going to be retiring uh, at the 7th anniversary show in July. So that kind of sucks. I don't, I don't know why, but uh, it looks like we're about, we're about to see the final days of Scott Loss. But uh, th this match was, uh, it, it was good. You know, it took a while to get going. Uh, the closing minutes were really, really good. Featured some good action. Uh, you know, Chuck Taylor and uh, El Generico went at it once again. You know, they that was a pretty big feud in 2009 at PWG. So, uh, pretty good ending. You know, Paul London hit the shooting star press to put a... Uh, I forget who he pinned, but, you know, he, he won the match for his team. And uh, Battle South three-star match. Uh, next up, we have the Cutler brothers taking on Roderick Strong and Ryan Taylor. Uh, Roderick actually uh, was part of Supercard of Honor 5, which had, which had taken place to... The previous night, so you got to give him credit. Took the long plane ride out to Los Angeles or California, wherever wherever it was. I'm not sure. I, I guess it was Reseda, California. But uh, you know, th this is okay. Uh, once Roger got the hot tag, uh, the cr the match really picked up. Uh, the Color Brothers look great throughout this whole tournament. They put on a good showing, and this is a good match for them. Featured a good finish with uh, Cutlers doing their double uh, tombst uh, tombstone uh, move which is a, a good spot, but uh, I don't know, the, the, the pairing of uh, Roderick and Ryan Taylor seemed kind of random to me, but uh, I, th I thought they made for a good team. It was a, still a solid match, uh, probably about three and a quarter. Next up, we actually had the Briscoes taking on Kamikaze. Kamikaze featured, uh, what's his name again, uh, Akira Tozawa, uh, teamed up with Yamato from Dragon Gate, uh, and I, I, thought, I thought this was good. I thought it was excellent. I thought it was a solid three and a half stars. A uh, little bit comedy, you know, the Briscoes pulled down, uh, what's his name, Tozawa. They pulled down Tozawa's pants, and uh, Tozawa was, was wrestling with his ass, hanging out pretty much for about two or three minutes. So, uh, But, you know, the, the actual action was good. I thought Tozawa and, and Yamada brought a lot of intensity. They got the best out of the Briscoes. Give the Briscoes credit as well. You know, they had to wrestle at Super Card of Honor 5 the uh, previous night, and uh, they looked solid throughout this whole tournament, and uh, they looked very, very good. Uh, just a solid three and a half star match. Briscoes actually went over these guys with a uh, doomsday device, so uh, that was good. Next up, we actually had what do we have? The Young Bucks. They took on the Cutler Brothers. This was excellent. Four stars. Great stuff. This might be the best match the Young Bucks and the Cutler Brothers have had uh, so far. Just a lot of great near falls. The crowd really got behind the Cutlers. Uh, they were huge baby faces here. Just excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, I can't say enough about this. This this had some, like I said, it had some great false finishes. Uh, you really, really bought into the fact that the colors might win. So, uh, good, really, really good stuff. Uh, next up, we actually had El Generico and Paul London. They took on the Briscoes. Uh, very disappointing. Just just not that long. It, uh, I'll probably give it about two or three quarters. Um, the Briscoes going for the Doomsday Device. They had El Generico up. And uh, Generico just countered it into a uh, Huracarana. And uh, got the pin on one of the Briscoes and put him away. So, yeah, n not much of a match. This could have been a lot better, but uh, no, this is still pretty solid. Next up, we had the only singles match of the night. We had Chris Hero, that young knockout kid, take on uh, Brandon Bonham. Uh, basically, this was kind of just a, a match to 
make Hero look a little bit strong heading into the uh, seventh anniversary show. He's going to be taking on David Richards for the PWG Championship. Uh, pretty good stuff, you know. Uh, Hero did a lot of trash talking to Bonham. Uh, you know, he's Bonham is an up and coming young guy, so he was kind of like the veteran hero trying to bully, you know, the young upstart uh, Brandon Bonham. Uh, but this is a slugfest, you know. It was very very stiff. It was a different kind of match than the uh, tag matches. Uh, you know, they they went away from the high flying, and this was more of a Japanese style, you know, chopping, uh, a lot of stiff elbows, that type of thing. So I'll probably give it about three stars. Wasn't overly impressed with it, but uh, it's still pretty good stuff. Uh, hero got on the mic and, and talked about how uh, you know. Ever since he beat, he lost to Brian Danielson, he hasn't got a title shot. Now he's about to get it at the uh, seventh anniversary show. So that was good. Next up, we have the match of the night and the uh, main event for the uh, tag team championships. We have Paul London and El Generico taking on the Young Bucks. Amazing match. Uh, I'll, I'll give it four stars. I'll give it a solid four stars, a high four stars. Great stuff here. Uh, you know, the beginning of the match was kind of seemed generic. I, like I, I didn't, I wasn't sure how they were going to capitalize on this match and make it different. Than a regular Young Bucks versus Generico match. I mean, we've seen Generico in matches against the Young Bucks over the last uh, year several times, but uh, th this features some great stuff. Young Bucks played great heels in this match. They tried to get themselves disqualified so they could keep the tag team uh, championships, but uh, the referee wouldn't do it. So they, one of the Young Bucks, slapped the referee right in the face. So uh, and then it just got awesome from there. You know, the referee did a, a double clothesline on both of the young bucks. The referee looked like he was in really good shape. I don't know if he's training to become a wrestler or what, but uh, it just got awesome. You know, there's some great near falls. Uh, Generico actually kicked out of the uh, more bang for the buck. Uh, that was great stuff. Uh, London looked pretty good. You know, give him credit for someone that admits that he's not taking himself too seriously right now. Uh, uh, he, he just looked pretty good, and uh, the finish came when uh, Generico hit the brain buster off the top rope to finally put the Young Bucks away. After two years, or however, however, however long it was, we finally get new PWG Tag Team Champions, Paul London and El Generico. Uh, the aftermath is awesome. The aftermath is probably the highlight of the show. Paul London got on the mic and talked about how, you know, this is the best high that he's experienced in a while. He said, you know, these championships are steroid-free, and... Uh, uh, politic free so that, that was a pretty nice uh, comment by Paul London uh, just thought it was really really classy and uh, finally the Young Bucks are not the PWG Tag Team Champions anymore which kind of sucks that kind of hints at the fact that maybe they're not going to be brought in for a lot of shows in the future I'm not sure but uh, definitely check it out PWG uh, DDT4 uh, excellent excellent show I'll probably give it like an 8.25 maybe an 8.0 I'm not really sure yet but uh, definitely check it out high spots alright